Gather round, team. We've got our orders. So what's our mission? According to the op board, we'll be protecting Sergeant Foey and his route clearance team as they search the road for IEDs. At the end of the route, there's a hill. Once the road clearance team declares the road safe and clear, we will secure the hill. Ciao. As the Grenadier, you're in charge of providing cover to our fire and movement. Roger, Sergeant. Williams, as the rifleman, you'll provide immediate security. Yes, Sergeant. Carr, as the automatic rifleman, your task is to provide suppressive fire. Sergeant, what will you be doing? As your team leader, I'll make sure each of you complete your task to the best of your ability. That is my directed duty. You're just going to be overseeing us? No. My task as team leader is to control the movements of our team. I'm responsible for what we do or don't do. Duty? Task? What's the difference? A duty is a moral and legal obligation to do the best you can to accomplish a job. Aren't we always supposed to do things to the best of our ability? What if I tasked you all with washing your boots with your toothbrush? Talk about cruel and unusual punishment. Let's say that Chow's boots are clean, so he completed the task. But Williams, you made your boots so clean you could see your face in them. You both completed the task, but Williams fulfilled his duty because he completed the task to the best of his ability. Oh, I get it. So my duty is to be the best rifleman that I can be. Exactly. If we all do our duties, it'll be a lot easier to successfully protect the route clearance team and secure the hill. Communication is key in this mission. If you see something suspicious, let everyone know. We want to get back here alive and uninjured. If there are no questions... All right, then go check your equipment to make sure everything is ready. Hey, Carr, come here. Let's talk for a second. Yes, Sergeant. What's going on? You seem really unfocused, and that's not like you. Sorry, Sergeant. My mind is elsewhere. My mom's been in a car crash, and I'm worried about her. That's rough. I'm sorry. Why don't you go call home to check on her? Can I? I would really appreciate it. Yeah, go call home. Make sure everything is all right. Hopefully it'll help you focus. Yes, Sergeant. Thank you so much. It's so quiet in here. Are you all nervous or something? It's okay to be nervous. Everyone gets nervous. Hell, I remember being nervous for my first couple field training exercises. One time I was so nervous that I was going to mess everything up or forget what I was supposed to do. I can't imagine you being nervous. You better believe it. I was so nervous I was shaking. But my teammates made me take deep breaths. By the time my boots hit the dirt, I'd stop shaking and my nerves were gone. That's all it took? Some deep breaths? Yeah, why don't you give it a try? Take a few breaths and trust in your teammates and your training. All right, team, the alley is narrow. Some of us have to stay here with the vehicle and the rest will go on foot. Are we going with them? Let's go. It's our duty to protect them, and we can't do that sitting here. Yes, yes Sergeant. We did it. We completed our mission, and with very few injuries. Great job, team. You should be proud of yourselves. I know I'm proud of you. Heck yeah, you are. What's not to be proud of? I'm fantastic. 
I'm pretty sure that was meant for all of us. You didn't deny it. You think I'm fantastic, too. Don't worry. You're pretty great yourself. Okay, Chow. Thanks. On that note, let's conduct an AAR. There were a few moments where we just really struggled. Granted, our struggles didn't kill anyone, but the reason we practice is so you're able to execute things properly in a real-life situation. The more we struggle in training exercises, the less we struggle in the field. We're going to really have to focus on improving. Got that? Let's go get ready to head back to base. I'm so ready for a shower. We're all ready for you to shower. You stink. Pot calling the kettle black, don't you think? Just saying. I'm ready for hot food. Ugh, oh, that sounds so good. I wonder what they're serving. Let's load up. The faster we do that, the faster we get hot food and warm showers. I've got to make sure everyone has all their equipment and submit an ACE report before we leave. Specialist Chow, what is your ACE report? Sergeant, green on ammo, no casualties, up on all equipment. Car, ACE report. Green on ammo, no casualties, up on all equipment. Williams? Green on ammo, no casualties, up on all equipment, Sergeant. I'm proud of all of you. You put forth the best effort you could, and that's commendable. Thanks, Sergeant. Now, I hope you all learned a little something during that exercise. Yes, Sergeant, we did. <coughs> Suck up. Good. Now go clean and put away your equipment. Why do we have to do this right now? Because it's your responsibility as an individual to take care of your equipment. Part of being a soldier is holding yourself accountable for your actions. The Army issued you that equipment, so it's up to you to take care of it. Yes, Sergeant. Taking care of it now. Review the choices you made in the scenario and see the results of your decisions.